Hey everybody, it's Denise, your favorite Tupperware lady. I just wanted to come on today and show you a few of my favorite toys in the kitchen. Tupperware toys, of course. Um, I'm going to make salsa, and I'm going to use several different things to make it, but it won't take me any time at all, and you could see Tupperware in action. So I'm going to start with my favorite toy. Now, I have the blue one. My red one is in my party bag. Um, so the co current color right now is red and white, um, but this one that I keep in my kitchen is the previous color, which is the aqua blue. Yours will be red and white. Same product, just different color. Now, we like to call this, as consultants like to call this, the lady lawnmower because you operate it like a lawnmower. It's so fun. So the, this is the Power Chef, by the way. It comes with a blade with its own little blade guard. So you don't lose digits if you put this in the drawer. You're not going to pull it out and um, cut yourself. So it has three blades, and they're curved this way. And they all spin around by the power of the Lady Lawnmower Mower. And it comes off of the top, and it just locks right in with one little twist. One little twist. It also comes with a paddle, and you can use that to mix cakes with. So you can mix emulsify and emulsify and stir with the paddle, and you can chop, chop, chop with the blade. One pull is the equal to um, like 25 chops of a knife. So 25 chops, 25 chops. Really easy. It's going to save you time in the kitchen and energy. So with our chop and prep, we're going to start with our hardest items first. That's going to be an onion, a garlic, some garlic, cloves, and a jalapeno. And I'm going to go ahead and put the cilantro in there because I like it to be really chopped up. Um, I'm going to use our series, Chef Chef series knife. Sorry, I'm trying to stay away from that sunshine glare from the window. All of our knives comes with their own personal sheath, again, for protection and safety. So when you want to throw it in the bag, uh, it's not going to chop up your bag, and it's also not going to chop up your finger when you decide to pull it out of your bag. You protect uh, you and everybody else. Um, you can use whatever size jalapeno you like. I use a very small one. I like it hot, but I don't like it so hot that it burns my mouth off. Um, so you can use half of a small jalapeno. Again, this is a really small one, so I'm going to go ahead and use the whole thing. And I can add more tomatoes later if it's too hot, because I'm a whip. So I'm going to use my Chef Series knife, the side of the blade, to crush the garlic a little bit to get the paper off. Usually you can just give it a little good whack, and it loosens the paper. And you can use however much garlic you like. The recipe calls for one or two gar cloves of garlic, but if you have little cloves, you can use two or three or four. If you have big cloves, you can use, you know, one or two. It's your choice. So I'm using three cloves of garlic, but again, they're small, so that's why I used more than what the recipe calls for, because I'm getting down to the bottom of my garlic, and they're small. One onion, your choice. I normally use white or yellow, your choice of size as well. This one's fairly small. When I get done, I may decide to put a half of another one in there if this one isn't enough. Then, one of my favorite ingredients is cilantro in my salsa. Use fresh cilantro. I separate the stems from the leaves, and you can use a whole bunch, you can use a handful, you know, however much cilantro you want. It's totally up to you at your salsa. Make sure you rinse it first and let it dry. Um, get the dirt off of there. <clears throat> I like to use a lot, but this bunch is a, it's a large bunch, which is delightful. I got more for my money, so I'm not going to quite use the whole thing. I'm going to try to get some of these long stems out. When you get done with your herbs that you're not using or your vegetables or your fruits, we have containers called uh, Fridge Smarts. So those are an investment for your produce. The average family of four throws away twelve to fifteen hundred dollars worth of fresh produce every year because it goes bad. You put it in the crispit drawer and it dies because you forget about it or, you know, the crisper drawer is just not a good place for vegetables. Um, I don't know what it was meant for, but not fruit and vegetables because they always just go there and die. Um, so I've got an onion, a small jalapeno, cilantro. Now I'm going to do a lime, the zest and the juice of a lime. Now this is our zest and press because it's got a zester and a presser. Tupperware is in 85 countries now. We're 74 years old. 
And this was developed by Tupperware Italy. And yours is yours will be black. At this one, I do have the newer color. I went and got it out of my party bag. So yours will be black. So you want to zest any of your citrus. You just want to get the color off. Once you get down to the white, that's when you stop. You want you don't want to get to the white white because then it becomes bitter. You just want to take the color off of your citrus. So you um, lot you can add lime to your water, lemon. Um, zest is really good in cookies, like orange zest cookies. It's also just pretty for a garnish and extra flavor. The zest is actually where the mineral oil comes from, the oils come from, the essential oils from the lime <clears throat> and the grapefruit and the lemon. And this, using a fresh lime just makes this salsa taste so fresh. Everything in the, in the salsa is fresh except for the tomatoes. I used canned tomatoes for quickness and because they're not always in season. And I'm gonna show you our can opener. Now, you open it up and put it on top of the can. Now, even though this can is a pop top, I still wanted to show you what it does because what it doesn't do is cut. What it does, once you close the legs on it, it grips the can and you can do it like this or you can do it like this and you just go around the world till you feel or hear the click. Um, and what it does is it breaks the glue seal. So that way, you know, when you use a typical can opener, the top of the can falls down in your food and you don't know where the top of the can's been, who's touched it, who's crawled on it, who's laid on it, whatever. Um, so you don't want that down in your food, right? Right. So once you go around the world with your can opener, you take the little bird beak, grip the top of the can, the lip, close the legs again and pop it off. There's no sharp edge because again, it didn't cut. It loosened the glued edge. And that way, anything that's on top of your can stays there and not does not go in your food. So I'm gonna add the tomatoes in a second. I zested my lime. I'm gonna roll it on the counter to get the juice loose. And then I'm gonna cut it in half with my Chef Series knife. All of our knives and the blades in our choppers are made of surgical steel and nickel. One's to keep them from rusting, one's to keep them sharp. So you put it cut side down because you're gonna turn the lime inside out and get all of that yummy juice out. Let me move this where you can see. I don't have a large working area in my kitchen. <laughs> so can you see all that juice dripping down? I would tilt the phone, but my little setup here, y'all would probably fall on the floor. And I don't want to do that. So we're just going to squeeze this. And if your lime feels hard, it's not quite ripe, or it's not feels like it's not real juicy, stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Or roll it on the counter with the palm of your hand like I did, and you're going to get all of that juice out of your juicer. And it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. You just, I do it slow because I don't want lime juice in my eyeball. <laughs> then don't throw your lime away yet because it has one more use. Get all of that out of there. Um, I touched my jalapeno to get the seeds out because the seeds are where the heat is. So I have capsaicin on my fingers. I wear contacts. The last thing I wanna do is touch my eyes with my fingers. So I'm going to use my lime now that I've gotten all the juice out of it that I want. I'm going to rub it on my fingers to break down the capsaicin, which is the hot stuff in peppers. So I'm going to rub that on my fingers and then I'll wash them with soap and water once I'm done with my salsa. So let me st start with chopping what I have in there so far. This just sits down and turns one, one little quarter turn to the right clockwise. And then you just pull the motor. <clears throat> and again, one pull is about 22 to 25 chops of a knife. So I don't know how many pulls that is. All of our choppers, we have three different sizes. We have the Power Chef, the Smooth Chopper, and the Chop and Prep. The Chop and Prep is the little one, holds about a cup. Um, then we have the smooth chopper, which is a little bit taller. Then we have the power chef. All of them come with a rubber foot on the bottom. I call it a foot because it keeps it steady. This one is removable. You can take it off in case you get it wet or you get cake mix in there and you want to clean it up real good. That one comes off. But the 
smooth chopper and the chop and print, there's are permanently attached to the container. Take a look at that. How fine is that chopped? Is that not amazing? And that didn't take any effort. My arm doesn't hurt. I haven't been chopping all day. It's amazing. Um, next, I'm going to add Southwest Chipotle seasoning. This I got, I haven't found it since I got it. Um, we used to sell Southwest Chipotle seasoning, and if you want it, I'll post the recipe for it, but it tastes just like this one. This is a name brand that I got at Sam's, and like I said, I can't find it again, and you see that I'm almost out. <clears throat> this you add uh, one to two tablespoons. I would start out with a tablespoon um, to see how hot you want it. This is mostly spicy, but if you add too much, it will get hot. But it's Southwest Chipotle seasoning because Chipotle is a hot pepper. There's also a version that I use made by Mrs. Dad. These, I love these. These are our counterscape containers. Um, they all come with a little removable scoop. Try to get that in the light so you can see it. You saw me use it to scoop out. It just clips right in the top and it screws right on down. I use this for my bulk spices. Um, my garlic powder, because I use a lot of garlic powder if I'm not using fresh garlic. Of course, my Southwest Chipotle, I have my black pepper in one. Um, I have <laughs> um, barbecue seasoning in another. <laughs> so, they stack really nice. They look really pretty. They're made of acrylic. It's a clear type of uh, plastic that Tupperware makes. And um, they look and feel like glass, but they're very lightweight. Very, very, very lightweight. So, I love my counterscapes. Um, so next is we're going to add the tomatoes and we're done really y'all. I, you know, with things being in short supply at, uh, the stores, I usually get whole stewed tomatoes to show off the impressiveness of my power chef, but all I could find was already chopped, but you saw how it chopped up the lot, the onion and the jalapeno and the cilantro. So now I'm just going to give it a couple more turns to get everything mixed up together with the Southwest Chipotle seasoning. My mouth's watering my sauce. It's so good. I use this, I even use this Power Chef to chop up chicken. When I make chicken tortilla soup or chicken salad, I'll steam my chicken or boil my chicken or when I'm making um, chicken tortilla soup, I get a rotisserie chicken. I debone it. I put the chicken in my um, Power Chef, give it a few pulls, and I've got little bitty, finely, beautifully shredded chicken. And today I have beautiful salsa, homemade salsa. So that is some of my favorite products from Tupperware, my favorite toys in the kitchen. I used the Power Chef, the Chef Series knife, and everything's dirty now, the Zest and Press, the can opener, and a cutting board, but it's down here. You can't see it. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all I used. So if you're interested in free or half-price Tupperware, I'll be happy to do a Facebook party for you as well. Um, your hostess gets extra credit for two datings. So we can date yours and get started um, within the next 30 days. She'll get credit for it. So let me know if you'd like to do your own party. All righty. So I'm going to have some salsa, and I will see you guys later. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.